Okay, there is the base. Oh, that reminds me. I discovered while I was looking for the data, the rest of the fauna. So we can upload this and we can get another 1750. Which gives us another milestone. Collector, discover all species on two planets. Uh, you should also know that where is it I got on foot exploration drifter two stars I'll need to get another 3700 to get to the 15000 for the the next milestone you need milestones in order to do the Atlas quest. And you can also trade them in for nanites on the anomaly. Okay, we have 16 data, two for the teleport module, one for the biofuel reactor is three. Zero for the electrical wiring. And three for the battery. Puts us at ten. I'll do one for a save beacon. Now the stone requires silicate powder. So I can actually get a lot of carbon. The little flowers are giving me a lot of carbon, but I'm still going to use silicate powder this time for stone. So one for a stone wall, two for a stone roof, one for a stone floor, one for a stone ramp, two for a stone arch door. So that is, um, what did that cost us all together? About 13 or so? Okay, and I will edit some of this out. Well, first you should actually, I'll do the quest stuff. Let's use this wood building as our teleport building. Oh, they want me to rename the base. Let's call this main trading post. Base. Okay, it wants four metal plating because it's going to want me to build a teleport. Okay, and it wants two uh, carbon nanotubes. Notice I have several thousand carbon now. That is because the plants give a lot of carbon when you mine them. Okay, let's put a teleport module um, up here. going to want you to power it. You see it says supply, well, under my, under my face there, it says supply power to the base teleport module. So for that, it's going to, uh, we're, we're going to build a biofuel reactor, which is one metal plate and 25 oxygen. I need more ferrite.
Okay, I mine more ferrite. We need one metal plate. And uh, we'll fuel this with a biofuel reactor. Put it here like this. Okay. And it wants me to supply power. So you see, the space station's in there because we went there before coming here. All right, and that satisfies an objective by building that. That is perhaps the simplest way to do it. The base computer is going to tell me nothing else, you know, 16, nothing else to do here. It's time to go to the space station. Right? See, the base computer has reached its end. Head to the space station. All right, let me build a little with the, I'll edit out my building time. And let me build with the concrete a little bit and show you. ourselves a way to walk directly to the base using the floor panels and the stone ramp. The stone ramp required 10 pure ferrite which can be gotten from refining ferrite. Each one ferrite goes to one pure ferrite. And we will be able to walk directly to our plane from the trading post. I would say pretty sweet. We have a landing pad and a store and people and planes landing. Okay, wants us to go to the space station, so E on the terminal. Left click the space station. This is a stellar class G9F system with four planets, two moons. It's Viking. The economy is ore extraction. Conflict level is stable. It's called Andabar KIY 7 Stellar Observer. Just go to one person and talk to him over and over. Ask about 16. Talk again. They're shaking their head and stuff. I see a red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. I repeat 16. He 
says, we are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. The echoed, the string of code is echoed back to me through a red glare. Logged directly to my exosuit, the crimson light fades away. I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. All right, so now it want, will want me to explore the space station, but go back to the space computer. I found um, aronium, which I can sell. You can sell stuff directly from the starship here, so actually, yeah. You can go to the store up there, the circular thing, or talk to a guy down here to sell stuff. I'll just talk to this guy and sell stuff. Uranium is uh, roughly 25,000. I'll sell the slime for about 2,000, the basium for 2,000, the residual group for 1,000, the storm crystals worth 211,000. I'm gonna hold on to it. So, I mean, I have 61,000. Since we got one exosuit upgrade, you don't see one here, but you can still get one. If you get it ahead of time, you actually get an extra. But it'll cost you 5,000 this time. Okay. Um, for technology, since we got the nanites from the um, fauna, We need for protection in this system. The planet we're, planet we're on is temperate, so the weather's fine. But the one we want to go to, the one that we were on originally, has poison, rain, ammonia. So that would be toxic. I thought it was radiation. Do you see toxic? All they have is a B. Ah, uh, there, B-class toxic for 179. Let's grab that. Let's and because we use the oxygen a lot on the paradise, let's grab the best life support they have. Just because we need those now, they're useful to us. That improves the solar panel and the life support tanks. And the toxic is added to our hazard protection. That adds an extra shield. Your hazard, the upgrade will go down to zero before your actual hazard protection starts to drop. Okay, once you're done looking at the stores, you'll return through the teleport terminus to your base. I did not get a multi-tool upgrade because at the beginning I looked for the scanner to get more units from scanning. And for the spaceship, I looked for the hyperdrive because warp fuel is more valuable at the beginning. 
but they don't really have anything good for that. But I did get some upgrades for the for the planets that I go to. So let's return to our base. And then I'll end the game. Okay, we appeared in front of our teleporter. And our plane appeared just at the bottom. So that's adequate. Let's see what this looks like from a distance. There's the teleport area. And there uh, is my bridge leading to the trading post. There's the bridge. Thank you for watching.